Wilfredo, maestro pianist. Watch his fingers, he's so fast, you can't see his fingers move. <laughs> Keep playing. <laughs> My lady. My name is Isaac Toops. I'm the chef owner of Toops Meadery in Mid City, New Orleans. It's a, a contemporary straight Cajun restaurant that me and my wife opened about four years ago. We have a wonderful fresh charcuterie, lots of animals, uh, lots of meat, goat, lamb, duck, quail, chicken, you name it. If it shoots, walks, flies, I've shot it. This is our head-on gulf shrimp escabiche dish. This is kind of a Spanish variation. I get a little Spanish blood in me. We have some gulf shrimp, never frozen, always come fresh from Grand Isle. Black pepper, you know, black pepper's uh, very repetitive in my cooking because it rocks. I couldn't have done anything else but a Cajun restaurant. I've been working fine dining for 10 years for Malagasy, and I only wanted to cook the food I wanted to eat, and that was Cajun food. Now, I've modernized that. At the same time, I still have some very old-school Cajun dishes on the menu. And then I've took some of those dishes and elevate them or twist them to uh, my own needs. People come to New Orleans thinking they're getting straight Cajun. Most of the time they're getting a combination of Cajun, Creole, and Spanish, which isn't bad food. It's just not all the time straight Cajun. Cajun food can hang with anybody. So just because you know I come from small town Louisiana doesn't mean I can't cook with some of the best cooks in the country. I went out with some good friends. Jennifer Cole is a wonderful food writer. Went out with uh, my wife, Amanda. Yay! Uh, my general manager, Larry, and my chef of cuisine, David Barbeau. <laughs> he's one of those overtly talented guys. That's why he's my chef of cuisine here at Tubes Meter. Dollar, who touches it first? <laughs> That's an easy dollar. Right. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> Bye, sir. Thank you. Hold on. Let me clean up your seat. Stop it. Stop. We left Tubes and went to my old haunt, uh, Delmonico. Uh, I cut my teeth there in the culinary world. I don't understand why I didn't pick up a Cajun accent. Uh, you would think he would by now. I, 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 I got a side girl with Rion. You're Cajun. Talking. I'm Cajun. Cajun. Went to my old haunt, Delmonico. Uh, it was my first real professional culinary job, started there as a fry cook, and uh, I left there 10 years later as the second in command of the kitchen. Wonderful place. What they're great at is like the old school versions of the New Orleans and South Louisiana classics. So crab meat and remick. Well, we serve the crab meat remick with some toasted French bread. Right before it's ready, we'll just top it off with some bacon. We garnish it with some green onions on top. Kind of a version of the, the baked crab dish where you have the uh, sauce that's made with a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of uh, veoli, top of breadcrumb and baked off, so it's very rich, but however, it still has that wonderful clean crab meat that doesn't hide the flavor of the crab. Oh, and we have the boudin balls stuffed with cheese. And these are stuffed boudin balls. It has a little bit of pickled uh, jalapeno and cream cheese, and we serve that on top of a uh, puree of pepper jelly. Boudin, whether it's pipe or in a ball format, is always gonna be popular. It's always good Louisiana street food. Wild boar meatballs. We had some of Anthony's famous mint meatballs. Those yeah. wild boar meatballs. I like them. It's a wet bread panada. A lot of mint, a lot of fresh herbs, a lot of orange zest. I love these damn things. When you do old school right, this is where I go. And it's so nice to see it every once in a while. It's a treat if you get pampered. Everybody likes a pat on the booty. Who doesn't like a pat on the booty? Playing. Dave got up and uh, we were requesting songs and his whole thing is he only plays his own music. Multi-talented, wonderful musician, a good chef, a decent wrestler. Let's rock and roll, y'all. Thank you. I'm walking, finally, because I'm a little Pokemon on the way to Avenue. He did something very traditional, that it was something we used to do at, the, uh, at Delmonico, get out of service and walk down to the Avenue Pub, we used to call the A-Pub. <laughs> to the bar! To the bar! This way! 
It's a place that used to be a very seedy dive bar, which I liked, you know, kind of rough and tumble. But uh, Paula, the owner, really took it over and made it a wonderful artisanal beer and whiskey bar that still keeps it very New Orleans being nice, low key, and casual. Whiskey, bring me whiskey. Bring me lots of whiskey. Bring me whiskey fast. I used to pay the water bill over at the Avenue Pub way back in the day. I spent pretty much every night in there drinking beer and drinking whiskey. And uh, Al, the bartender, he served me this real fancy drink I like to drink. It's called Whiskey on Ice. Two cigarettes and whiskey and wild, wild women. They'll drive you crazy. They'll drive you insane. <laughs> I get uh, dump truck fries, currywurst, and a pub burger, and a Russell Reserve on the rocks. We had some curry worst that was delicious. The dump truck fries, which is exactly what it sounds like, you know, beef debris fries with lots of cheese and sour cream. It's the perfect kind of food you want after a night of drinking. Hard to get good food late night. You sit here, you sit here, I'll stand on the tables and twerk. Yeah, 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 why not? You only live fucking twice. I have a tendency to go completely overboard. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always the cut up, I'm always the instigator. Oh, that's it. man wasn't there to keep me down, I probably would have been butt naked in the street trying to wrestle a car. Hopefully by the filming of this, this is legal. If not, no one can fire me. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Snap a lapper, my lady. Whether you liked it or not, we hijacked Will and we crammed everybody in the van. <laughs> That's the whole. And here's my non married friend. I might have just been Will. That's right. I mean, we're so close to you that I kind of have to bite you. And I came back over here for some hangover pork chop sandwiches. Too drunk to fry the pork chops. Feel free to use my sword and any other long ass fucking knife. Make this look ridiculous. One of our New Orleans traditional dishes is a fried pork chop sandwich, but with the bone in. You just gotta tell people. <laughs> oh, there's a bone in it, I told you. There's always a, a friendly and sometimes not so friendly wrestling match. I, I tend to get physical, but I'm a happy drunk. So even though I want to wrestle, I don't want to really hurt you. I just want to throw you around the room. This is for television stuff. Oh, 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 Mama says stop, Mama says stop, Mama says stop. Mama says stop. You're disrupting and the customer's going, what the hell's going on? It's like, no, don't worry, here's a pork chop sandwich. It's business as usual. Gentlemen, ladies, and persons of interest, I want to thank you for this debaucherous good night and the debaucherous good times. Yes. Salute to all. Yes. Here's to the chef's night out. I'd love to stay and play, but I got a good woman at home. <laughs> you coming? <laughs>